Okay, here is 2009 Halloween and not so fairy tale. I basically wanted to turn this into this just this fairy tale setting just totally gone wrong. There's an evil garden you can see right here in the long shot with a child skeleton all wrapped up in vines and there's there's just all kinds. You can't really see anything very well. Um, unfortunately, the wind was blowing at 30 miles an hour all night long, so I couldn't really put up a lot of the stuff that I wanted to. Here's my garbage tote that we have that's out in front of the house that I didn't know what to do with this year. Um, so I decided to just throw a few body parts in it and stick my wonderful feathered vulture on top of it. And it actually looks kind of neat and creepy and weird. A lot of people really liked it. They thought it was cute. Uh, spiders. Spiders and the little trick-or-treating girl. Um, I love showing children getting killed and eaten ages ago by things. These are a few of my spiders. My oldest Halloween prop is that big spider that's on her right there. That's just a homemade, just a piece of fabric that's just draped around a small skeleton. That's all. Uh, the spider that's over the mailbox right here, um, I, I purchased that year. And the uh, little spiders that's on the uh, light there, um, that's actually a clear shelf paper. It's just contact paper that I drew spiders on and um, did like a, a sort of a candy um, corn background color of uh, red, orange, and yellow. We just I just, just colored it in with Sharpie markers and threw it up on my lamp and it actually looked really neat. Um, the back garden I couldn't really do a whole much with, a whole lot with once again. It was because the wind was blowing at an insane speed that year. So I kind of threw up my cro old croquet set and my fences and my, um, barrel that I was going to put my fogger in, but I couldn't because of the horrible, horrible wind and my dialect pumpkin that I made that year. I'm so proud of my pumpkin. It turned out so, so well. Um, my husband dressed up as an evil scarecrow. Loved it. I did. I thought I loved it. I just did a great job on that costume. Um, a better shot of the, uh, child skeleton getting wrapped up in the vines. Um, oh, here's, here's a great way to show the, the wind speeds. Just my my evil flowers that have these giant teeth in them that are all covered in blood. They're just bending straight over to the ground because the wind was blowing so hard. My A friend bought me this mushroom. She was at the Christmas tree shop and she just happened to see this weird little mushroom and she knew I was doing a fairy tale theme that year. So she just bought me this freaky little cross-eyed mushroom thing. I loved him. Uh, it's a shame that his face kind of disintegrated. Oh, this is a this is a lawn ornament I just decided to use that year. I actually, I, I had this stag for years out in my garden, and I just decided, what the heck, I'll just use him in, in my theme this year. I stuck a hand in his antlers. He does look kind of evil. Oh, my coffin and my crows. Oh, this was the year that I had first made my coffin. Um, Oh, God, I loved this. I, I dressed up um, my mummy dummy. Um, I took off all of his bandages and I put him in a dress that I wore um, as a bridesmaid. Um, it looks exactly like Sleeping Beauty's dress. So I put some fake hair on him and a, and a blouse. And this little girl, this little girl, um, when she, she kind of like walked up to the coffin and she's like, oh, what's in there? And then she looked in and it took her a few seconds to realize it was Sleeping Beauty. But when she did, she started to cry. I am so so evil. Um, one of my Jurassic Park masks that I bought ages ago in 91, 92. My God, how old is that movie now? And I just stuck it on a pole as sort of like a dragon head. There's actually a little light on the inside of it that that's actually glowing orange. You can't see it very well. But uh, my tables of stuff, my potent potables, all my bottles and crap, um, uh, skulls and all sorts of weird things there. Um, on my, this is actually what it looked like behind my bottles. I, I stuck one of my battery operated strobe lights behind it and it was actually kind of glowing and weird and creepy. And um, over here is what the lamp and all the stuff over in the corner kind of looked like. Um, some of, some of my childhood things, um, a rocking horse that I got from an aunt, and one of my first weird, 
creepy doll that I bought at a yard sale and then just kind of like dirtied her up and made her all weird looking. And oh, dead hatter. I'm so proud of him. I, I actually, I, I stuffed a dummy and, and put a zombie mask on him with a wig and hat and it completely clothed him. He's wearing like four or five layers of clothes, like the Mad Hatter. There's, you can't really see the card in his hat very well, but he's got like the standard Mad Hatter card. And there I am standing behind him. Um, I'm, I'm dressed as Gothic Dorothy in my black and white gingham dress. And it was, it was really, really cold that year. So I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt and I've got, I've got layers of clothes underneath that. I'm just, it was just so cold that year. And then, well, the, the next year would be even colder, but here's, here's what the ceiling looks like. Um, I have like, I have several different colored bulbs in the lamps, so it kind of looks like it's red and purple and green. And then there are hanging uh, curtains of, of purple lights and, and all kinds of stuff. 